Hello once again viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Terrain. We are here on the final episode, episode 5. Um, so we'll just continue straight from where we left off and read these data cubes, see what's awaiting us. We have a computer recording. We deeply regret having to take this action. While the universe continued on without you, we, part of the Hazudra Hole, strapped a proximity bomb onto your ship and redirected you with a subtle nudge towards a very hostile enemy asteroid system. Your cryo system will wake you up at this point. Once we detect your renewed signal, we instruct you further. Good wishes. Doesn't seem very friendly. Um, okay, we have some hollow news as well. This is Rob Neither with the Daily News. Zinglon cultists believe behind attacks. In a strange move, a group of cultists following the recently deceased Lord Zinglon have claimed responsibility for several food-related bombings in the Savara system. The attacks seem to be mainly situated upon a small moon storage facility run by the eccentric Baker Bob. Apparently, a large quantity of pretzel dough and high-speed twister makers were stolen during the explosions. It is still unknown what the true purpose or cause of these bombings is, but local authorities have set up a blockade around the planet. Oh dear. I don't know if that really concerns us. Uh, we also have some news, apparently. Reports. L Line Agent Stream 2041 Trent Hawkins Memorial erected. Today, with the collaboration of the Deliani Central Committee and the Tyrian Regional Tribunal, a memorial statue was erected on Tyrian's capital city of Fochi, Central Complex Pedestal. The statue was erected to commemorate the heroic efforts of Trent Hawkins, already a legend in the galaxy for his superhuman fighter pilot skills and his single-handed rescue of the system from the invading Vikramon fleet. Well, that is very generous of you. We have had a memorial erected in our honour. Okay, at this point I think the we're pretty much about as upgraded as we're going to get, so we're going to keep everything sort of as it is, and we're just going to head straight into the level, which is Asteroid 3. So we've apparently been dragged towards some asteroid system by some group of Hazodras. What, to what end, I wonder? What do they want from us? Yeah, we can take care of a few asteroids, certainly. That's not going to cause us any trouble. As long as none of them have lasers or anything. Some of them probably do. But we have bigger lasers, so that's the main thing at this point. Okay, we seem to have these strange things that lived in the Stargate from 4 as well. Uh, I wonder what they're doing here. Lots of asteroids, as you would expect from an asteroid field. That one is quite sturdy. I think we can blow up most of them. And we have a boss. What is this? Seems to be throwing spinny things at us. Now it seems relatively... Oh, it's not exactly defenceless. It's still shooting at us, but nothing, nothing too dangerous at this point. So we have made it through Asteroid 3. Um, and we have another data cube. Let's see what that says. Data Cube Dispatch 0497SV510. Again, it's some news. Reports L Line Agent Stream 60, the Grey Books return. Mysterious Grey Books filled with unknown material have surfaced in an archaeological expedition to Savara, led by well known scientist Grafim Arugo. The books are encased in a medium grade durable material and are alien in nature, although Grafim believes they originated on a distant planet named Earth mentioned in several folklore passages. Filled with graphite and lead compounds, the books seem to be carrying a clue to unravelling the mystery behind Tyrion's unknown past. The research team believes that the graphite compounds have a direct connection to Tyrion's Gravitron crust. Interesting, I think that's the first time the game has actually mentioned Earth in the storyline. So 
so apparently there's some sort of connection between Earth and Tyrion. Okay, we don't have any better shields or anything we can get at this point, so we have a choice of going to Asteroid 1 or Sojin. Let's go to Sojin. I wonder what's on going on here. The miners. Okay, we seem to be in some sort of mining place. Quite why, I don't know, but never mind. It has some good music, so that's cool. Blast our way through here. Blasty, blasty, blasty. And thing was hanging off the edge of the screen a little bit there, but never mind. No huge issue. I'm gonna watch out at this point. We do start to get some turrets kind of hiding themselves just off the edge of the screen, making them difficult to actually destroy. And the turrets at this point in the game do shoot quite rapidly compared to earlier on. Um, so we do have to be a little more proactive in avoiding getting shot. Otherwise we could quite easily die at this stage. Um, whoa! I don't want to get trapped in amongst all these guys. Shields are still holding up though, that's okay. Maybe do with turning these um, Ursonic Wave forward. I'll do that for the next mission. I'll leave where it is just now. I think there's a way to change it in the middle there, but I can't remember the button, and I'm using the mouse mainly here, so never mind. We can survive with what we've got. We have another large enemy approaching. There used to be some sort of drill on some tracks. Ooh, it has some lightning. That's not so good, but it's going down fairly easily. That's not a huge problem to us. And we are out of here. We have completed Miners. We have another message from the Hazardrum in the looks of it. Grand to see that you have emerged victorious from the asteroid fields. It was a most impressive display to see their ships explode from your assault. Again, we do apologize for setting you on this dangerous course, but there really was no other way to stop the Zinglonites. Yes, Zinglon. While there is no sign of him in any form, his essence lives on in his followers. It is certain that they are trying once again to destroy everything. Microsol is merely one front to their power, though decidedly weakened. What remains is a more sinister subterfuge. For instance, already food supplies have been reduced to little else but cruel. We believe starvation is one part of their plans. Either Savara or Kamanis would be a good place to look first as activity on both worlds is very high right now. Your ship will be allowed to travel to either, of course, without fear of detonation. If they notice your presence, we feel there is good chance they will reveal themselves to you out of anger. And thank you, Trent. The Hazudra friend you had was once close to me as well. I am sorry he could not be with you now, for a good friend would have made the journey so much easier. Yes. I'm still not entirely convinced that I've been brought here. And the, and we think they've been very much brought here against her will by these guys. And they, they keep apologising and also threatening to kill us. So that's not so not so good. Um, right, we were going to... There's not any better shields. I'm going to change this to forward motion. And... We have a choice between Savara and Kamanis. We're going to go with Kamanis, I think. This is a strange level. This is Coral. We appear to be under the water. Um, some of the some of the strangest enemies in the entire game live in here. We will see what happens as we progress through the level. We might die here. This is quite a tricky level um, due to certain enemies that will show up later on. We'll see what happens. Here we have some seahorses. They're going to die. Sorry. There also seems to be some sort of strange eel type thing. Um, which 
they're, they're shooting blue the balls at us. There seems to be also some robot fish. Um, it's a very strange level. Quite what this has got to do with Zinglon's followers, I'm not entirely sure. things up on our way through here. Not really much else to say. Now these enemies, these starfish things, these are some of the enemies that I was talking about. These things will follow you around the screen intent on crashing into your ship and they can cause quite a bit of damage if you're not careful. So far so good. Not a beer of guard. Starfish coming at us. Yes, this is all very strange. We seem to be getting torpedoed by what look like giant metal fish ships. I'm not sure. I'm not really, maybe there's some sort of submarine. I don't know what the hell this is? It seems to be some sort of. It seems to be made of metal. It also seems to have teeth. Um, I'm going to kill it as quickly as I can. There we go. That was coral. Warning. Warning beacon specifies level five automated resistance system. Unknown response to continued approach. Okay. It looks like we are headed into trouble. Um, let's see what this data cube says. We have a message from Zinglon. Oh dear. Uh, what does this mean? Again, you plague our path towards ultimate wisdom. Again, your cursed mind and stolen starfighter technology return. You were thought to be destroyed in your battle with our god, Zinglon. However, I see that your twisted destiny permits you to live. I cannot. Okay, so I take it this is a message from one of Zinglon's followers. Um, you're no intent on killing us. Can we improve our shield any? No, it doesn't really look like it. Uh, let's then, let's just go for it. We're headed to Gaiji's. Yeah, these platforms can do quite a bit of damage if you're not careful. We also will have to watch out for these ships that are coming in from behind us here. And be careful not to let our shields drop too low. Okay, so we appear to be in some sort of fleet here. Um, Perhaps this is the Zenglon fleet? I don't really know. At this point, everything just stops really making an awful lot of sense. Let's just blow everything up. I'm gonna make sure our shields don't get down too low, because these enemies can kill you pretty quick if you're not careful. Something like this guy behind us here. Oh, I want to make sure that thing can hold us in place. Okay, so watch your shields. Ah. Right, anyway, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. We're still alive, large that's the main thing. Oh, we have a large enemy approaching. What could this be? Seems to have some rather big guns. Let's kill it as quickly as we can. And we have killed that one, and everything is just falling in front of us here. We have another data cube. Incoming message from Zinglon. Another Zinglon 8. Let's see what they have to say. 
a glorious message from our god led us to this final path. Some doubt us, but we realize to fulfill Zinglon's wishes, we must control the food supply to all, then twist it to his will. His ire is absolute, and his hatred for you brims over and envelops your future. Soon you shall behold the fruit of our glorious and divine leader. Fruit. I have a feeling that fruit may not be as metaphorical as it sounds. Um, okay, have we got any shield upgrades? We do. We have a very powerful shield available here. That is off the scale powerful. Let's buy that. Um, everything else I think is fine. Um, we'll just continue on. We're heading to unknown. Fruit. We're headed to fruit. Here is fruit. There is fruit everywhere. Fruit floating in space once again. Let's collect the fruit. I have a feeling not all of the fruit might be friendly. Maybe some, some rather hazardous fruit in this level as well. Yep, we seem to be, to be getting attacked by fruit. And we have mighty banana throwers. I don't really know what is going on with them. But yes, this this is all very strange. And this game hasn't been a stranger to strange throughout. But this is this is whole new levels of strange. Take out these strange laser beam things, or lightning barriers, or whatever they may be. And watch out for the bananas, as they will most likely kill us. Oh, we better also watch out for these spinning things, as they will very much kill us. And I do not really want to die. Not this far through the level. There appears to be a lot of these banana things. And we have a large enemy approaching. What have we got here? Oh, it shoots bananas as well. It's also not very tough. So we will destroy that and be on our way. Related by your one-time friendship with Buse, you were sought out by his people, the Azudra Collectors, and sent to destroy the Zinglonites. With none of their forces left and the deadly fruit weapons destroyed, the universe as a whole is silent once again. No response ever comes of your inquiry to the state of the Hazudra or who sent you on this journey. The secret haunts you in your sleep. Still, a hero once again, as always. Congratulations! We have defeated the, the evil fruit machines of the, the Zenglon, or something. Okay. With that, we have a total score of 1,639,515. Did you know Ancient Tyre, 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 Tyre was a large Phoenician seaport from around 2000 BC up until the Romans came around. It was located on the Mediterranean. I think the reason we are being told that is because the name of the game kind of comes from it. Well, I'm not entirely sure of the pronunciation of it. Never mind. Um, we shall move on, and with that, we have the end credits. 
we have managed to complete Tyrion. That was episode 5 of the game. Episode 5 was notably shorter than the other episodes. Episode 5 was basically added in with the Tyrion 2000 version, I believe. Um, and in fairness, it seems a little bit thrown together. Um, there's the, some of the levels are decidedly lower in quality than the earlier episodes, but uh, it was just a few extra levels at the end there. Um, aside from that, there's not much else going on here. There are other modes to play in the game. There are you can play in the ar arcade mode, where rather than um, spending credits to upgrade your ship, you collect power ups as you go through the game, and it's a bit more in kind of random in that side. There's also things like a two-player mode, um, which is fun if you've got a friend to play it with. Uh, but like I've said before, I mean that this game, this game is basically freeware now. You can get this online um, at, at this the time of recording. You can get it on GOG.com as well. Um, you can most likely get it at other places as well if you do a Google search. It's pretty much available all over the place. Um, so yeah, I'd highly recommend checking this one out if you if you're remotely interested in uh, DOS games and vertical scrolling shoot 'em ups. This is one of the best ones available for the platform, if not the best. Um, in fact, I've heard it said before that I've, I've heard people state in reviews that this is one of the best vertical scrolling shooters ever made for any platform. Um, well, you may agree or disagree with that, it is certainly a fun game to play through. So, there we go. We have completed Tyrion. What happens now? Is anything going to happen at this point? We go back to the first episode, but we get super arcade mode if we take techno at the title. So this game has a lot of little codes like that that you can do as well. We we could, at this point, if we wanted to, we could restart the game from the very beginning with our massively upgraded super ship that we have here. Um, we're not going to do that. We've basically completed everything at this point. So that is the end of the, the series for Tyrion. But like I say, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely recommend if you, if you have any interest in this kind of game. Um, Definitely, definitely look it up. Um, and I will save the game here. Let's play completed. There we go. Um, yeah, so thank you once again for watching everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this series. Um, it's certainly been fun to play through this game again. Um, if you have liked this, um, certainly um, give us a like, leave us some feedback in the comments. And uh, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, please subscribe. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much once again, and I will see you next time. Take care. Catch you later.